So you've tried scaling your ad spend without seeing any success or you've been stuck in a rut and haven't really seen any upward trend with your ads. Well, I may have a fairly simple solution for you called UGC. UGC stands for user generated content, which is content such as videos and photos generated for you by your customers, influencers, or brand ambassadors. Today's video will be pretty short and straightforward, so stay tuned to learn how you can utilize UGC to really help you with your Facebook ads strategy. If you're new to the channel, my name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzo Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in growth strategies for e-commerce businesses. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge industry tips that I'm about to share with you, you know, every Tuesday on the channel. As mentioned earlier, UGC stands for user generated content. And basically, you know, the UGC in itself is pretty versatile as you can use that for your content marketing strategy, your organic marketing strategy, or even your paid marketing strategy that I'm going to focus on a little bit more today. So UGC helps you build three main things, which are trust, authority and report within your niche industry and with your audience. So just in the next few minutes, I'm about to share with you a couple of videos and examples of what UGC really is and what you should implement on your end. But before I do that, let me just get a little bit more to details about what I mean in terms of trust, authority and report that you can build with UGC. First one being trust. So trust essentially, why would UGC build any trust with your audience or consumers? Well, First of all, it's, it always depends of where you put it in your funnel, which I'll get into a little bit more later in this video. But basically, it builds trust as you've got somebody in front of the camera that is pretty much in the same target demographic that you are trying to attract to your brand or that you've already attracted essentially. So it could be used in your retargeting. But nonetheless, this is somebody that is pretty much the same age, same, you know, ethnicity, same sort of demographic just in general as the people that you were trying to attract. and. This builds trust as this is almost like word of mouth marketing. You've got somebody that pretty much fits your own persona talking to you about their experience with a certain product and, you know, builds also trust because let's say you're going on Amazon on Walmart or any of those online big, you know, e-commerce shopping stores. Well, you'd want to take a look at the reviews. You'd want to like to see, you know, how many five store reviews does this product have? So doing so with your ads is pretty similar. So with having somebody in front of the camera speaking about, you know, their experience with your product, you know, what they think about your brand, uh, you know, what review do they give to your brand and some, you know, throwing some adjectives about your product. Let's say you are selling some t-shirts then they could say something like the fabric is so soft, you know, the, the cut is perfect for my shape. So whatever the adjectives or comments they give, as long as it is, you know, positive and genuine comments, this will help build trust with your brand. Now, this can also help you build authority as would it be just, you know, these general average person that just makes a video about your brand again, builds trust, but trust will build authority in some way. But here I'm also talking about if you have those big names or influencers or somebody, you know, that has somewhat of an online following or presence talking about your brand, you know, speaking about what they think of your products, your brand, and same thing as the first, you know, first thing that I mentioned about trust, but here, if you want to build authority, you can do so with numbers. So either name dropping someone or number dropping, you know, some amount of reviews. So let's say you've had, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing numbers here, but 50 five star reviews with one of your products while well, using that in an ad with somebody talking about their experience with your product could be amazing. So that's, you know, one way to build authority. Another way against the name drop people. So having those big names, influencers or celebrities, Speaking about their experience with your product could also be really beneficial to you. The third thing that I want to mention here is report. So already sort of touched on that with trust, but with report again, it's all about connecting, connecting with who's on the screen and making the consumer feel like we're talking to them directly. So making, you know, someone feel like, Hey, you know, they're talking to me right there. You know, this is exactly me. So nailing your targeting and your messaging really will help build report and UGC can sort of help you tie the two together. Now, right before I showed you a couple examples, essentially UGC can be used both for paid and organic marketing. So just for your regular organic feed post or story post, definitely, you know, UGC can help. So would it be sharing stories of influencers or your customers, you know, tagging you with their products? That's UGC in some way. So 
that can be used with your organic marketing strategy but super important also to know how can you really utilize that in your funnel so in your three-step funnel which are you know top of funnel middle of funnel and bottom of funnel where do you place that and what sort of ads that you want to use with this you know what, what sort of ugc ads should you use with your marketing strategy so let's take a look at that so here on screen we've got a couple examples you know i've got about 20 examples of different industries different types of ugc so uh, essentially there's re really different sort of angles that you can take from this there is i'd say three main ones which one of them would be more of a review the second one would be more of a uh, testimonial slash try on so if this is let's say fashion somebody trying on your product if this is skincare let's say somebody you know just applying your product and the last one would be a bit more of a tutorial so having somebody you know let's say again you're in fashion they could be unboxing your product or you know showcasing how to match your product and again in skincare or you know other industries right now i'm just taking an example on both of these industries but skincare you could have somebody you know tying your product into their product or uh skincare routine i should say so right now let me play this first ad right here you know love his dad bod get him this tea so this is some ugc you know placed with some edits some more information on there but as you can see on screen there's a lot happening here so i'm gonna stop it you know right there but if we go a little bit back and first, essentially, there's a bit, you know, there's a comparison that builds authority right there. You know, there's other brands and their brand, you know, in this case, True Classic. So what is the main difference between the two? Doesn't seem to be much at first, but you can see like, all right, you know, the, the, this one seems to be, you know, a much better fit for this guy. As you continue, you've got the review part of things. So you've got somebody in front of the camera speaking about their experience with the product. So you've got a before and after. So how... You know again this shirt feels amazing on so billing again lots of trust with what this guy is talking about the product and uh also here t t basically they're, they're giving the audience a call to action so get 30 percent off select packs now as i continue here uh, essentially they've got the other perspective so having a woman you know talking about her experience with her husband who was complaining about t-shirts and now how she likes him with this uh, new t-shirt and how her husband realized that you know he looked so much better with this new t-shirt so they're using many perspectives so this ad is again super versatile it can be used for different audiences you know they could potentially target the husband themselves or you know the men themselves that would benefit from these products or the wives and girlfriends that could potentially you know want to buy this product for their boyfriends so if we let the video continue strong call to action again at the end you know get 30 percent off there essentially here there's a little arrow that on facebook that would lead you to the call to action so this would emphasize the call to action for people to click showcasing a bunch of different products and some benefits here so all in all this isn't just the simple ugc sort of content this is a ugc video or many ugc videos i should say that were stuck together in a much better video format so that's also something that you can do mix and match some different or similar perspectives and sort of create this sort of combo here as they have different perspectives that sort of complete this whole ugc ad so far you know what i've been showing you is more so on the review side of things but here's more of a tutorial ugc ad so again this is somebody more on the skincare industry basically doing her skincare routine with the products that they're advertising from so here it's more or less captions that you see on screen but you see all the steps that she's using so also detailing some information for people that won't have the sound turned on so if i just skip through this video you know all the way to the end you can see that essentially you know we can see the before and after and uh this this just seems you know this doesn't look like an ad and this is the goal sometimes with ugc you don't necessarily want it to look like an ad it could be almost like a TikTok or just those instagram reels that you see so a really short video that essentially is packed with little value and that would normally invite people to click on this you know such a video so in this case this is why you know we always recommend our clients to prioritize TikTok influencers over Instagram influencers at times for such videos as these TikTok people normally have more of this vibe for really quick and short video that grab people's attention within the first few seconds. So this is the sort of video that you want to use with your ads. So here's another one of these examples that has pretty much everything we've discussed so far. So at first there's a little unboxing as you can see over here so you can see the packaging 
of the product. And then as you continue, you've got somebody, you know, talking about how you know they've been wearing this product for a while, how good the quality is. And then right at the end, you'll see that pop up in just a second. But there's going to be a the, the company logo with a strong call to action. So this one combines a unboxing combines essentially the review. So you've got two reviews basically in the same video. And then at the end, you've got a good call to action that leads people to shop now on the company's website. So having said that, and having shown you just a few examples out of the thousands and hundreds of thousands probably that are up on Facebook right now, uh, definitely this is something you want to integrate in your strategy. So why again, just to recap, you know what I mentioned so far. So builds report, builds authority, builds trust many angles that you can cover, you know, you can sort of go on this review side of things, you can go more, you can stitch actually a couple of reviews together and make this more of a clean video version. But this really doesn't have to be complicated, you know, it could be something shot with an iPhone with captions added later on, it could be as simple as that. So no need to go over the board with those expensive cameras and expensive, you know, video editors, you can really make that simple out of your iPhone, you know, with iMovie. And with this, you don't necessarily aim for followers or for those big influencers. You can if what you really aim to do is build authority. And if you do have already some testimonials from influencers, then that's amazing. But, you know, if you're just starting out or you've been running ads and need some more UGC for your brand, what I really recommend is that you reach out to people that just simply fit within your demographics. So, the first pool of people that you need to tap into is your current customers. So you could set up automations with emails that let's say after a couple of days that somebody purchased from you, they would get an email from you asking them for some videos or UGC, you know, in exchange for potentially just a short or like a 5% or 10% voucher for their next order could be a gift card could be many ways to attack this, but definitely, you know, sending an email to your current customers after they purchase is a really good idea to do so. These people are fresh, you know, they've just purchased, they're happy, they just got the product, they maybe already know about the brand or they're new customers, whatever that is, you know, this is genuine reaction that you would get. So it could speak a lot and then it could allow you to, again, stitch a couple of these videos together as you've seen earlier with the examples that I've shown you to help you create the feel that you wanna give out to your current or potential audience and customers. Essentially where you want to place UGC is normally at the middle of the funnel slash bottom of the funnel. So what you really want to do is with your ads for cold audiences, you just want to educate them about your product. So you could still have UGC in some way. So you could have more of this tutorial side of things or somebody speaking about the problem that they had and how your product fixed that. So you want to educate the public or your potential audience at the top of the funnel, you know, people that just don't know you yet, you want to educate them about a certain problem before you present them a solution within this sort of middle of funnel aspect. And then afterwards, you know, once they know a problem, once they figure out the solution and your product, you're going to present them essentially your UGC. So your reviews, you know, your testimonials, what people think about your product, because now they're aware of a problem. They're aware of a solution. They're aware that your product exists and that it, it fits, you know, the solution to their problem. And now they just need to trust you a little more, which is what you want to build with UGC. And now, especially post iOS 14 slash, you know, 14.5 videos are super important as you can retarget, you know, people within Facebook. So you can sort of create this video funnel and retarget based on video views. So that's, you know, something that you can do. And second thing is just creatives in general are now more important than ever. So having some awesome videos, you know, that are well put together and well edited could also really benefit you with your current ads and help you stay afloat during these times. So with strong video creatives and a high volume of ads, you'll truly be omnipresent and seen as this authority within your niche industry or market. So people would see you pretty much daily and be exposed to your brand's name, your brand's products, you know, reviews like such. So definitely you'd create this sort of whole and complete solution for your customers. You know, with the report that you would have built during this space, you should definitely see an increase in click through rate with your ads and should stay above, you know, 1.5 to 2% based on those UGC ads as they tend to have lots of interaction. Now, if you're unsure about the best Facebook ads strategy for your e-commerce business or have already been running Facebook ads and want to take that to the next level, then I'd invite you to click on the first link in the description 
down below and book in a really short demo call with myself where you know we can see if you'd be a good fit for our e-commerce marketing program as i mentioned earlier you know we run an e-commerce marketing agency so we specialize within such strategies discussed in this video on that note make sure you check out other videos on the channel about some other useful marketing tips and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace